comedian. This guy's coming all the way in from Pittsburgh, not owning the Browns yet. And uh, he's Indian, because we're going to continue to be ra racist. Please welcome Chris Mohan. <laughs> How's it going? All right, uh, I am Indian, uh, and I came to this country like 15 years ago. And the first thing I had to go through was immigration, which is just a horrifying place for an eight-year-old to be. Because they'll just throw you into a dark room and shine a light in your eye. And there's clearly two dudes that had a discussion of who good cop and bad cop is going to be. And they were both like, let's just both be bad cop. Let's do that. That's going to be fun. <laughs> and then they just scream questions at you, you know? Business or pleasure? What's the American flag look like? I don't know. The cover of Die Hard. <laughs> see my mom and play with my G.I. Joe's. He's got G.I. Joe's. Take him. Cut him in half. Take the head. This dude took the head of my favorite G.I. Joe and he still wears it around his head and neck like a trophy. Every time I go to the airport I see him and he flashes it out. Which is not just horrifying for me, it's horrifying for every other eight-year-old that walks to the airport, you guys. But when I came here, I had to start school, and uh, they put me in a special reading class when I started school. And this was after I spoke to the like principal in 45 minutes in English. Like, she was just like, yeah, we're gonna put you in a special reading class. And I was like, oh shit, was I speaking in Mandarin? I did sometimes do that, you should not do that. <laughs> but I walked into this room and I immediately heard the Hick accent. And I was like, I am in the room where the English language broke. Like that's, that's clearly where I am. The first time I heard the word y'all, I thought he was talking about the black kid across the room. And I was like, that's kind of weird. And I don't think that's his name. I think that's, that's a little racist. I don't, I'm not familiar with racism, but I feel like what you guys are doing here is it. My mother didn't want me to be in that class either. She didn't, you know, she, but she couldn't call because she had an accent. And they would have been like, well, you need to be in this class, too. <laughs> like, that's bullshit. My mom can't be in the same class as me. That's weird. You know, it's not acceptable. <laughs> I wasn't a popular kid in high school, either, uh, which might shock a lot of the ladies in here, because there's an Adonis standing in front of you today, and maybe the gentleman at this table. Uh, but I wasn't. I was, I was uh, still more popular in high school. I had to give myself my own nickname. Uh, so I went with Crush. Because my name is Chris, so I went with Crush. Uh, and I would just crush soda cans in the back of the room and be like, yeah, crush that shit. And everybody would just look at me and be like, what's wrong with the gay retarded kid? In the back of the room. And the person that got really offended by that was the actual gay retarded kid in my school. And he beat me up and slammed his helmet on my head. And that's how I was on the team. And I got beat up there every day. When I was in high school, I actually got kicked out of a Victoria's Secret. Uh, and not for like some weird pervy reason, like I wasn't going in there trying to be like a style consultant, like you should try the leopard bra, it really makes your breast pop, like I wasn't <laughs> doing that. Uh, I was going to buy my fat friend a bra, uh, and I, he didn't appreciate the sentiment <laughs> at all. And I went in there and I was like, uh, look, uh, my buddy's husky, he's going to be active, he's looking for something that's going to provide him comfort and support. <laughs> And the salesperson just panicked and she like went and got her manager, which is the opposite reaction of what I really wanted. She came out and she's like, what are you looking for? And I was like, comfort and support, bosoms, comfort and support. She's like, well, I guess you're just going to have to try something on. And I was like, great, what do you suggest? I think he's a zebra fella, brings out his eyes. She was like, hey, you think you can try anything on in here? And I was like, well, this is gender discrimination. This is racial discrimination. This kid's going to get diabetes and get his foot cut off. They don't like any of that shit, you guys. They will escort you out on a Segway with mall security. You guys have any idea how embarrassing it is to be escorted out on a Segway? Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is when your fat friend breaks the Segway and he has to be dragged out of there like a zoo elephant? I am, I've been here for 15 years and I feel like India has finally caught up to me because uh, I get calls from telemarketers uh, and my full name, they pronounce my full name. My full name is Ramakrishnan, you know, because they'll be on the phone and be like, Hello, uh, my name is Andy, and uh, uh, it's Ramakrishnan there. And I, no white person has been able to say my name in the last 15 years without having a full-blown panic attack, you know. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, alright, I'll play along. And I go, yeah, this is Ramakrishnan. And they go, are you Indian by any chance? I go, yeah. And he goes, oh my god, my name is not Andrew, it's actually Raj Kapoor. I make everything. 